what's up you guys welcome back to another vlog today we're cooking again of course and i'm cooking what i can eat <laughs> this is literally what i can eat some quinoa with some mushroom i had to let you guys see how i do this meal hence why we're cooking it again so sit back relax and let's get into it again guys welcome back to another mm, Sunday vlog yes we're in the kitchen I will be cooking today again I'm gonna be cooking the same thing but I'm gonna show you guys more detail with the quinoa and the um, lentils the coconut milk and my chickpeas and I add something else in my chickpeas that's what I'll be making for dinner yes so I'm making dinner for at least two days so stick around we're gonna do it okay so you guys i took everything that i need out the fridge which is my bell peppers my onions uh purple onion that is and today yes i will be using the chickpeas can and the coconut milk in the can again why I, I run out of options in eating like I am I, I was super hungry already have these instead of going to the store I'm like this is what I'm making I still can eat it but definitely we are working on cooking the um, chickpeas from scratch and making our own coconut milk so let's just prepare this meal it was so good you guys it was absolutely tasteful flavorful a little bit of spice let's get into it So I'm adding some tomatoes, uh, green bell pepper, yellow, I believe, red or orange, and purple onion. No, one of you guys had told me like, Chrissy, stop using that onion and start using the purple onion. And I did that, girl. So thank you so much. I know better and I'm doing better. So we're just going to cut these up. I will be making them in small pieces because I want it to blend into the chickpeas. And so while the chickpeas is small, I didn't want it to be too long and bulky. So we wanted everything to be blend in. So good. So good. I added thyme because I love to cook with thyme as well. So just the bell pepper, some onions tomatoes i mean it's curry tomato is not a must but because i have to eat the veggies i added tomatoes to mine so you could either eat the tomato on your salad or you can cook with it if you're like me so mincing up these i don't think i had showed you guys the garlic but i did mince some garlic afterwards and honey Look how beautiful the veggies look. 
if I could eat it like this, I would. I appreciate vegetables so much right now because I have to incorporate it in my meals for it to taste good. It also gives that, you know, the look. You ever, let me ask you, you ever season up your meat and you had onions to it and then like when it's time for you to go and cook it, you smell that thing with even the garlic and the onion? Love it. So that's all the veggies for now. We're definitely going to add some mushroom. I love the Bella mushrooms from um, Sam's. Buy these, you have to wash them. Remember, we have to wash everything before we cook them, okay? So I'm washing some mushrooms and I'm adding, because I did this meal before I recorded it and I realized the mushroom tastes so much more like chicken. So it's like chicken and bean with the chickpeas. Because for me, the chickpeas, honestly, it's not like chicken for me, okay? It's more like a bean. So the mushroom is what give it that chicken taste. So it's like chicken and some uh, potatoes. So we're adding mushroom and I'm adding a lot of mushroom. You're going to see a lot because this is going to actually serve me for two or three days. And also... I needed to stuff the belly <laughs> but anyway let's just prepare the mushroom and then you guys will see the next step Alright guys, I love to wash off the can of anything that I'm about to cut and I want to comment one of you guys who said Chrissy boil the chickpeas a little bit more it tastes so good and wash off the preservative I should have known better so I'm doing better and that is why I appreciate you guys so much because you guys give me a reminder and then also I learn stuff you know whatever I don't know I learn whatever I forget it's a reminder so I appreciate you guys using two cans of chickpeas right here and I don't know how the other chickpeas taste because from the moment I started to eat it it's the one in the can so I wash those off of course and then I'm gonna boil it some more I did I think about 15 minutes or so so basically just preparing everything that I'm gonna make and make sure I wash my pots I ain't got roaches or anything but it's just an habit from Jamaica that I even if I just use it I'll just take it up if I'm gonna use it again and I just rinse it out with just water that's just me so it's a habit yes anyway it's time to get down into cooking before I cook I really love to prep everything than just putting on one and everything that's just me if I'm cooking meat love to prep that before I put on the rice so I'm treating this the same way even though we're eating clean I'm gonna definitely I prep the veggies already and everything and then we're gonna put on the lentils to make with the quinoa that thing is everything I appreciate quinoa so much more than before yes love it
we wash the lentils i think i let it boil for like 15 minutes with some garlic before i added the coconut milk to it so that's basically it how we cook rice and peas and only thing is i added more water make sure more water is in it because it, the quinoa will swell and it needs a little bit more water than rice that's the only thing but basically the same thing you can judge it put your foil paper paper bag whatever you put for it to steam properly and that's what i'm doing now let's get into the chickpeas and the mushroom i burned the garlic first because the flavor the smell oh my god and then i'm burning the curry because nobody belly is gonna run around here you already know how my stomach is so we're burning the curry and the garlic and then i'm just gonna pour all the veggies inside it looks so good i wonder if anybody ever sauteed this and eat it what do you guys think i don't know let me know anyway i use it avocado oil you guys know by now that's the only oil that i use absolutely love that thing it becomes a part of me completely gonna cut out butter soon for the kids yes but you know when that time comes you guys will know now i'm pouring in the coconut milk with my coconut milk i added the pink salt to the coconut to the coconut milk before and i stirred that i'm adding a little bit more salt i'm actually using the pink salt right here instead of the celtic salt just because i can use it too you know so adding salt for flavor that's the only thing that i added i think further on i'll add some mrs dash some cayenne pepper for spice and just natural everything is all natural you know so we're gonna let this sit right there and boil some and it then yeah see i'm adding all the spices right now and oh it was so good and some mrs dash so let's just get into this it's real simple i don't do measurements everything is real simple i just tip a little bit of however i feel like it's gonna taste i don't cook with a lot of salt this is the most salt i use hence why because i have to use the salt you know but other seasonings with anything else i do not use it look at this lentil with the coconut milk so good now it's time for us to add the quinoa got my quinoa from sam's that's the one i use so listen no measurement is there i just pour it in okay there's no measurements and i felt like i needed some more and i went ahead and add a little bit more and just before it start to dry out i put foil paper over it i believe so this is how it looks so good everything is gonna swell you guys will see the different the texture will be totally different i added scallion and thyme as well in that just the basic no nothing only salt there's no butter or oil in that now look at that so beautiful i am excited to add everything now let's add the chickpeas of course that's the first thing i pour in you guys could use this by itself i've never had the chickpeas without um without being curry how does it taste anyone knows i feel like curry has a flavor and so why i enjoy using it because i'm not eating certain stuff so i feel like having a you know just a taste or a flavor in my mouth is gonna like let me enjoy the food now the mushroom i added everything all at once you could have the mushroom first the chickpeas whichever way you want to do it everything will still cook i went ahead though and added some water i don't think it needed it because it's spring water but however the gravy was so good i i, I think in the night i had a salad with some gravy and it was extremely good so just keep on watching and you guys will see Everyone knows that I love salad and this is my go-to salad, romaine lettuce 
cucumber. I think these are the English cucumbers and the grape tomatoes. And I'll add the purple onion to this. Listen, why didn't y'all tell me that the purple onion give the salad a nice flavor? Not too much. I love it. The kids don't, the husband don't, but I absolutely love it. Not just the color, but the flavor in it. It tastes so good. I feel like I want to make this meal and let somebody taste it. If, you, if you're willing to eat healthy, that is. Because if you're a person who is used to rice, it's going to taste weird with the quinoa before you get used to it. Now I'm completely used to it. Only thing is that it's so lightweight in my stomach. My stomach is not over full. Yeah, it's very lightweight. That's the only thing. But I wash my salad, my lettuce, whatever I'm using, veggies with salt, water, because this is not cooking. So I'll use salt water to wash these. Like the regular veggies, I'll just wash them because we're going to cook them. So that's what I'm doing, making my salad. And I'm so excited. This bowl was so delicious. guys look how delicious that looks not just the veggies but look at the quinoa and look at the chickpeas oh my god you see that 
now everything is swell this is completely done yes yes oh my god look at that so it, it's like it opens out whenever it's cooked yeah i'm about to share my dinner and I'm about to eat some i'll show you guys of course i was so excited to eat i feel like i added too much because i love this thing cook it before so i felt like i overdid it okay yeah i did i need to start measuring how i eat because it's portion portion control i don't have i'm eating clean but with the portion look i think that yeah it was too much but anyway yeah look at my food look at my dinner you guys should try this at least a week like give yourself a cleanse and eat clean i'm doing this for 21 days i'm almost two weeks in so thank you lord i'm doing it yes you guys you guys know i'm a week to food but your girl is doing this and i'm excited okay this video is late but i'm still putting out a content because i have so much going on i'm so sorry i have to apologize i know you guys are looking we're looking for the video on sunday but i'm so sorry just keep me you know just i don't know i just have so much going on i'm just super busy you know working on stuff so anyway i cook and you guys are gonna eat we're gonna eat we're gonna eat i'm gonna add some avocado to this and that's it dinner is done guess what i still have to work i was doing laundry and it's time to fold baby olivia's clothes that's what we're about to do she's actually sleeping it is night time i'm gonna do laundry like every single week my reset videos either cooking cleaning self-care we have to reset for the week so doing laundry in specific it was her clothes because i did the girl's clothes it's so funny i don't know i always wash the baby clothes last because I feel like she used up more. Sometimes I'll change her twice per day. So that's just something that I do. But I'm just doing hers. Wash everything. Three different wash. White, dark, and colored. So we're just following these. And then we're going to take care of ourselves a little bit. So stick on around. Stick around. Stick on around. No. Stick around. everything is done y'all it's time for me to do a little bit of self-care take care of myself i went on the road i'm wearing makeup today yes 
but it's time for me to just take care of myself this hair was so good a lot of you guys been asking me about this hair even on tiktok if you're watching this video i should post i should post about it yes i'm gonna do that it is from mm, which company is it i'll post it on my instagram or i'll just post it in the comment section right here because so many of you guys have been asking about it now we're gonna dive into uh skincare for sure that's what i'll be showing you guys taking care of my makeup melting this makeup off and then we are gonna go in so i thank you guys so much for watching this is all i'm gonna do and then i'm gonna take a shower i appreciate you guys i love you guys to my heart and make sure you tell me what you cooked for dinner yesterday if you're just watching this what did you cook today i appreciate you guys so much i cannot stop saying that i love you guys so much we're a family over here we build a whole community and i feel like i have an obligation every single week whether it's once twice or three times per week to come on here and let you guys know that i'm good posting a video is letting you know that i am here okay it's not about just you watching it you guys know that i'm okay while i'm giving you guys some content to relax and watch so i appreciate you guys so much i hope you and your family are doing good god is love all time god is love all time God is love all the time. Stay blessed. Stay happy. Stress free. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Okay. Make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe. If you're new, welcome. We love you guys so much. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye now.